I'm Elizabeth Lopez. I'm registered holistic nutritionist and master trainer. I do hourglass shaping. You see the wall behind you? Do you see, do you see that? Hourglass workout. So what we do is we shape out curves, and to do that, I do personally believe that you need to be able to add some weight, be able to do a little bit of progressive overload. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite pieces. Are you ready? I've got the stability ball, dumbbells, TRX, booty bands, kettlebells, and jump rope. All in all, I'd say the entire kit, if you want to go right for it, that's probably about $250, um, but you don't need to get everything. I mean, you can just start with dumbbells and a ball would probably be the first two to get, and then you can add on from there to really get a good home gym. This is the only guy that's gonna take up some space, but you can use it as a, a chair for your desk and then really get some core support going. People call it extra ball, exercise ball, stability ball, gymnastics ball, there's a million names for it. It's, it, it's a ball. Um, <laughs> anyways, to choose your height for it, here is the trick. This one here, a little bit too big for me. You know how I know? Because my knees are not at a 90 degree angle when I'm sitting on it, so it's a little bit too big for me. These things are so insanely versatile, it is awesome. I can make it a bench, and now I'm able to do bench press. I can do pullovers, and I can do abdominals. More abdominals. It's really just a super, super versatile piece of equipment. Um, and it probably will cost you, depending on the quality that you get, anywhere from maybe 10 to 40 bucks. I would go a little bit more on the high-end one and make sure that it's burst proof. Next piece of equipment I'm gonna show you. I adore these. These are actually my own. These are called booty bands, okay? I have them on my website, lieswithlopez.com. You can click below to find more information. I use these for activation. A lot of times people have trouble activating their glutes, so when they're doing their squats, they're actually using a lot more quads and hamstrings and their glutes may not be turned on and then they're wondering, how come I'm not seeing any difference here, okay? So what you wanna do is pre-activate before you actually do your leg day. I'm just gonna show you maybe one or two exercises that you can do quickly. So I'm gonna use two purple. These are the medium. I'm gonna put them one at my knee and one at my ankle. So some things you can do with this is you can step side to side. Now see how little space this takes, but I'm getting a good workout for the side, okay, gluteus medius, of my glutes. Core is strong. I can also take this to cardio, jumping in and out, still using the glutes, getting the cardio up, also activating. And I can clamshell, okay, again, activating right here. I can booty blast, taking it all the way up and down. If I was doing hip thrusters, let's say, when you lie down and your head's on the bench and you thrust the glutes forward, I could put it around my knees to also make that move even more intense. Those are booty bands. I love them. I have them in my purse like all the time. They're like always with me. I will be showing more videos on teaching you guys how to use them. The next thing I'm gonna show you is kettlebells. I love kettlebells so much. I personally would recommend that you have two pairs. I'm not saying you need to start off with 16K, okay, because that's a little bit heavy, but I'm just showing what I would have at home, and I'll give you a suggestion of if you're starting, maybe where you wanna start. Why would I have these two weights specifically if I could only have a few? I would choose a heavy for lower body. So for me, I can use these, and I can get my deadlifts. Okay, I can do my sumo deadlifts. I can use them for lunges. <laughs> okay, so all of those heavy lift things that I wanna do, I might not have a barbell or Olympic bar or any room for that. These just kind of, look how small. They can go under something. It's so nice and simple. And I can get my intense heavy training. I can also even put my head on a couch and put the kettlebells on my hips and do things like hip thrusters, right? So they're very, very versatile. So then I also have my light set. Now the light set that I keep around, this is more for upper body stuff and also even quick moving. So I can do things like my traditional clean and press, keeping it nice and tight. I can do bicep curls with them. I can do traditional kettlebell moves with them, with the kettlebell swing. I can do back rows. Right, so they're like very, very versatile. I just really needed two sizes for at home. They're usually around maybe like $2 a pound or so. These are ergonomic, so when I clean, it goes to the shape of my arm. I find that a lot of women that I work with, they don't love the traditional round. You know those uh, old school wristbands? The kind of like fuzzy terry cloth ones? You can get those 
and you'll be fine with the round ones. So next thing I'm gonna show are traditional dumbbells. Now I would recommend that you have three pairs of these. So these are my heaviers. For me, I would probably do something like a 25, because again, I can do my deadlifts, I can do my lunges, I can do my squats, all of that kind of good stuff. I can get all my heavy stuff in. I also wanna have a medium pair. The medium pair will be for me to do things like my shoulders, okay, so lateral raises, all my shaping stuff, but I wanna have a light set as well. Cause you definitely don't wanna forget areas like your rotators, right? So we wanna be able to do rotator stuff. Um, with things like triceps, I actually like to go light. So I go like five to eight pounds on triceps. So if you're new to working out, light, medium, heavy weights for you might be like a two pound, an eight pound, and a 12 to 15 pound. If you're more advanced, maybe something like this, maybe heavier, okay, but that's a good guideline of where to start. Okay guys, so next I'm gonna show you the TRX. This is an attachment that you'll want for home. I'm gonna show you it in my gym, so it's attached to a pillar that I put in, but this is it that you put in your door, okay? So if you picture the top of your door, you put this into the top of your door, you close your door, and now you've got your attachment for your TRX, which is what you'll see me using in a second, and you're just gonna attach it to this guy right here, and then you've got your door and your TRX, okay? So that's how it becomes a home unit. These are technically for hands, and these are technically for feet. You can get creative, but that's how it's meant to be used. And I'm gonna show you how you can kind of do full body with this. You can even kind of make it weight related. So if I'm very new, I might stand up this tall, for instance, to do a back row, and there's very little resistance here. But if I'm getting stronger, the more that I walk out, the more intense it gets just by body weight. I can even straighten out my legs and make it even more intense. So I can really play with the intensity and make it um, kind of like, almost like I'm going from 10 pounds to 20 pounds to 40 pounds just by where I'm standing. I can get into chest, okay, a little bench press. The lower that I go, the more intense it gets. So right here, hitting those triceps just like an overhead press. To put it on my feet, even though I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna get in this way and then I'm gonna flip. So cross my feet, roll over, and I'm ready. So I can do V-ups, I can add a push-up, okay? I can do cardio with abs. Like there's so many things that you can do with the TRX, like it really is just like, it's an all-in-one home gym, it's amazing. So that's just one of the reasons. I'll try and do a video just on the TRX and I'll try to show you even more exercise you can do, you can also stretch with it. And then the last piece of equipment that I'm gonna show you is the jump rope. It's one of my favorite pieces of equipment ever. I love that the jumping motion is great for your calves, it's great for your bum, it's great for your shoulders. Um, and of course, again, it's, it's this small. You can't pack a treadmill with you, but you can pack a jump rope. This is another thing that I always have in my purse. I know, it's so weird. So weird, a million lip glosses, jump ropes and booty bands, you know, my Chanel wallet, because I'm a girly girl, but I love jump rope. And one thing that's fun is you can start off with your basic bounce. This is the basic bounce. Then you can start working on crosses and learning to do crosses. So it's kind of like you get to have fun with it because you're always trying to learn new things. You can get to your doubles and then you can just start dancing. And it's kind of like, I'll just put on really fun music. And it's just like I'm just dancing in the rope. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's kind of the running man, right? You got it, you got it, you got it. Um, so that is one of my favorite pieces of equipment. You know that that was a little bit of talent. I put up videos every single week. I hope you guys subscribe below if you wanna get email notification to find out when a video goes up. Just click the little box to get an email to you. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like. And if you have any comments that you wanna share, I'm always reading your comments below. If you'd like to see my full workout, you can check out trainwithlizabeth.com to see my eating plan and workouts. I hope to see you next week, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace out. We're gonna knead this up. I know it looks messy. You need to like squish it between your fingers. Yeah, so messy, but so good. I'm gonna measure them out because if your eyes are bigger than your stomach, you might make like one big power